here's a question that that we 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 have heard and i like to say this my friend that why did why moses didn't enter the promised land yes why did moses didn't enter the promised land yes my friend I'm, and i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you through the word of god in 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 in, in, in numbers the reason why at the end the reason why glory to god that moses didn't enter the, the promised land and there's three f's faith frustration and feelings those three condition the reason why moses did not make it to the promised land because moses didn't have faith in god i know i know the bible said moses was a was faithful in the house here he's the most faithful man in the world he made in my house but the reason why Moses didn't, glory to God, make it to the promised land because Moses didn't have faith. Moses was frustrated and Moses feelings get to him. You never, you never let people make you, make you go out your character. Hey, glory to God, because God is not about feeling. God is about faith. Hey, hey, hear me, please hear me. And, and the reason why I say frustrated because God say speak to the rock, Moses, but Moses struck the rock in front of the, the children of Israel. Why? Because of frustration. My friend, I'm telling you, never let nobody make you get frustrated to make you lose your character. So Moses did not make it to the promised land because his faith his frustration and his feelings. My friend, glory, the, the Bible says for us, the Bible says you gotta be born again. And glory to God. And you you be you 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 are born again not because of your works, because your trust and your trust and faith in Jesus Christ. It's not about it's not according to works of any man should boast. It's the grace of God, it's the faith of God. Hallelujah. So so Moses, hey man, Moses didn't sanctify God. Amen. Moses didn't have faith in God. Moses wasn't firm in God. Moses let his frustration by struck in the rock, and the rock represent God. Amen. It's just like Saul. Saul, the reason why Saul got rejected, because Saul listened to the voice of the people, and he said he was afraid of the people. Aaron, hallelujah, died. And God told Moses, Moses, I want you to go on the mountain and I'm going to bury you. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. And through the, through the book of Deut Deuteronomy. But it was mentioned in, 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 in Numbers, the reason why God, hallelujah, didn't let Moses went to the promised land. He saw the promised land, but in the end of the promised land, Joshua, hallelujah, was the what was a successor, hallelujah, to Moses. So I'm telling you, people of God, we got to obey God. We got to have faith in God. Without faith, I say, without faith in the apostle to please God, he that come to God must first believe that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. God wants you to seek him diligently. Amen. And hallelujah. Come on now, somebody. So Moses did not make it to the promised land because Moses and the people get to God, God on his last nerve. He called to God. My friend, I love people, but people ain't gonna make me make me miss heaven. People ain't gonna make me curse God and die. Look at look at our, our Job wife. Job wife said, curse God and die. <laughs> hear me out now. Please hear me out. Hear me. She said, curse God and die. But Job said, you're like a foolish woman. So people can make you miss God. Hallelujah. I love my wife, but I'm going to listen to God more than I listen to my wife. I'm going to listen to God more than I listen to my children. That's why we can't be so close to our children. I please God. I love, the Bible ain't saying me to please my wife. The Bible says love my wife. Amen. Hey, glory to God. And we as being people and children of God, my friend, we got to be in line with God. Because the Bible say that that you are thing that you you're not even married. Hey, glory to God. So I'm saying, what you saying, preacher? I'm saying to you that's watching this video, my friend. Moses 
didn't enter the promised land because Moses got frustrated. Moses lost his faith and Moses was in the feeling. He was into his feelings. And I'm gonna show you in the word of I'm gonna show you in the word of God that how these things happen, my friend. Because listen, we as being people of God, we, we gotta we gotta be we gotta be so much into God that people go to God don't get to us. We we, we gotta be we gotta be like a cat with the water roll off roll off our back. Hear me, hear me out, please hear me. Hey Amen. Because listen, people people are made to to, to frustrate you. And the devil, listen, the devil can use anybody. Hey Amen. If the devil can use a serpent, imagine the devil is a spirit. The devil, I tell people, the devil is not a man got Google, got Google come out of his mouth. The devil is a, is a man that that that, that, that pick got 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 a got a dirty clothes on or or, or a dirty dress on. No, the devil comes in a red dress. The devil comes in money suits. And he comes this way because he know what you like. Hey, come on now. The devil, the devil was there when you was born. So he know what you like. He know that you he know that you love you love what you love. So I'm gonna show you in the Bible that Moses he missed the promised land because his faith, his frustration, and his feelings. And I'm gonna show you, my friend. We as being people of God, we can't let people frustrate us. We can't let people make our Lose our faith in God. Amen. We can't go without feelings. It's not about feelings. You can't say God ain't there because I don't feel him. I know about say feel him if happily. No, I'm I'm talking about I'm talking about my friend. In the way that we love God, we love God because it's not about our feelings. Amen. And if you if you say you love God because because I gotta feel him every time I go to church, my friend. No, my friend, it's not about feelings, it's about faith. Never let nobody frustrate you, my friend. And I'm going to show you, hey, go to God, that, that in Numbers, the 20th chapter, verse number 12, and I'll catch you on the other side. This is the incident that happened. In Numbers, the 20th chapter, verse number 8 through 12, and it say, Take the rod and gather thou the assembly together, thou and Aaron thy brother, and speak ye unto the rock before their eyes. And it shall give forth his water, and thou shalt drink forth to them out of the, the rock, so that thou shalt give the congregation and their beast drink. And Moses took the rod from before the Lord as he commanded him. And Moses and Aaron gathered the congregation together before the rock, and he said unto them, Hear now. He rebel. Must we fetch you water off this rock? And Moses lift up his hand. This is a point right here. He lifted up his hand and with his rod, he smote the rock twice. And the water came out abundantly and the congregation drink and their bees drank. So Moses took the, the rod and struck it twice. To frustration. Hey, go to God. Listen, my friend. And Moses lifted up his hand and with his rod smote the rock twice. And the water came out abundantly. And the, the congregation drank and their beasts also. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron because he believed me not. Faith, listen to me. Please listen to me, people of God. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron because he believed not to sanctify me in the, in the eyes of the congregation. Therefore, you shall not bring this congregation into the land which I have given thee. So he was talking to Moses too. Moses, you're going to see the promised land, but you're not going to enter the, into the promised land. Aaron, you're going to die before you even get to the promised land. What I'm saying to you, my friend, the Bible say, what did, God, what, did, what, did Jesus, what did God say to Moses? And the Lord said unto Moses and Aaron, believe he, because he believed not. Now, a person that will believe not, a person don't have faith. And frustration was because he smote the rock 
two times. Bap, bap. And the rock represent the church. The rock represent Christ. Jesus Christ told Peter, Peter, upon this rock, I'll build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. He said, take me to the rock that's higher than me. Oh, glory to God. The Bible said, my friend, in, 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 in Matthew 7 chapter, they say that those up on the rock that hear the word of God and do it. And they that hear not the word of God is on sand. So I'm telling you, if you want to enter into the kingdom of God, you got to have faith. And don't let people frustrate you. And it's not about feeling. Jesus Christ told him, listen, how about feeling? I'm going to tell you about feelings. Can I tell you? Can I tell you? Can I tell you about feelings? Because, listen, listen, I want to help somebody out there, my friend. You are too sensitive. What I say, you are too sensitive. We are not to be too sensitive. That means somebody offend you quickly, you ready to backslide. Somebody say something to you, you ready to turn your back on God. But the Bible say, my friend, ah, glory to God, I love the Lord. The Bible say in, in John, the 16th chapter, and this is what it says, Jesus Christ say, These things I spoke unto you, that you should not be offended. Offended mean you're too sensitive. I told to God, hallelujah. What Moses did, Moses struck the rock twice. Bam, bam. And the Lord said, because you believe not, you didn't sanctify me in front of the congregation. And listen to the Bible, the Bible saying, and they, I'm still in John 16, verse 2. They shall put you out of synagogue. Yeah, the time cometh that whosoever kill you will think that he's doing God's service. And this is what it say. And these things will they do unto you because they have not known the Father nor me. But listen to the last verse say. The last verse say. The last verse say in verse six in verse 33, these things I spoke unto you that in me you might have peace in the world tribulation. Be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. So so Moses didn't went into the promised land because of faith, frustration and feelings. My friend this thing is serious. <laughs> Never let people frustrate you. Never let people make you lose. Because the Bible says, those that are in, in the lake of fire are those that believe not. <laughs> believe it not. The fearful, the unbelieving, the whoremongers and sorcerer and liar shall, not ha shall have their part in the lake of fire. So y'all keep on, y'all keep on letting people make, make you, you lose your faith, make you frustrated, and you're going by feeling, you're too sensitive. Ha, oh, glory to God, hallelujah. Why Moses didn't enter the promised land? Hey, glory to God, I made a message, I made a video saying that you must be born again. Yes, you must be born again to enter into heaven. It's not about your belief. Amen. Everybody believe. But the Bible said, never believe and tremble. So the reason why Moses didn't make it to the promised land, because Moses, faith, frustration, and his feelings. God showed him the promised land. But God said, I want to go on the mountain because I'm going to take you out. And he got taken out. Hey, glory to God. I'm here to tell you the truth, my friend. Life journey is not, is not about luxury. It's not about lies. It's about a love for God and love for people. Hey Amen. That's the only way we're going to make it to the promised land. So if you are saved and sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, stay that way. Don't let people frustrate you. Don't let people make you lose your faith. Amen. I love you all. God bless.